Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We also gonna have a look into Ethereum and finally also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So before we start with the content, my friends, we have a big announcement today. We are having this nice Femex trading competition. We have another new competition coming up here for the month of March and April. And uh, the style of this competition, of course, uh, looks like World of Warcraft. So there are a lot of goodies uh, to be won during the competition. And of course, we also have a big prize pool uh, up to 45 uh, Bitcoin, depending how many traders uh, we are getting. And we were discussing in my Discord trading uh, group if we should open up a known team or just join one of the uh, teams that already exists. And uh, since I was part in the last couple of Femex and Bybit competitions and I was often with this guy over here, that's a Chinese trader. I have no idea who that guy is. And um, in the last couple of competitions, we were always in the top three uh, ranking. So we always uh, had uh, kind of won a little prize of this prize pool and of course also some goodies just because uh, we were a small group and also because of this guy completely killing it because uh, this was a very very successful trader and hopefully also during this competition this guy again uh, can uh, bring the team up to the top three ranking and that's why my suggestion was that uh, we might all follow this guy we enter in his group and then of course uh, uh, trade successfully hopefully and this guy also here you can see with this last Phoenix trading competition uh, was ranked number two I was also in his team and we won a part of this um, trading competition so that's why uh, I think it's not a bad idea if we just join this guy and then of course everyone can be part of this trading competition if you want to trade or not depends on you but important is that you have at least a balance of 0.005 bitcoin in your wallet and you're also gonna keep it until the end of the competition because if you're gonna withdraw this money again during the competition the team will go into negative so your profit uh, losses uh, will be negative and that's why it is very important that if you're joining uh, this competition that you keep this balance uh, whatever happens in your Femex uh, uh, balance and not withdraw it again so this is very very important if you're joining uh, this competition especially if you're joining uh, this uh, team so what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this guy over here if you need more information then just join our uh, discord trading group you find the invitation link down below here in the video description so just click here on this invitation link and like this you will get access uh, to the free crypto trading chat and here we can discuss also during the competition what we should do and how we should trade so make sure to join the disco trading chat and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin if you want also to use this indicator during the competition then make sure to contact me here on discord with a private message because uh, a little donation is needed in order to have access uh, to the live stream uh, indicator to support the channel and of course keep alive the live stream here on discord so if you want to join this new competition that is coming up, then make sure to use my refer link down below here to register to Femex, top up some Bitcoin over there to be part of the competition. Like this, you will also get up to $80 in bonus if you use my link and then just join this Chinese trader here. This is also where I will be trading at. So there is no need to open up a specific own group because I know that this guy most likely is gonna killing it. So that's why if we want a real chance to win this competition, then I think the best thing is that we all join this guy over here and then hopefully all just have a successful competition here and win this 
price pool. If we can get more than 18,000 traders, then the price pool will be 45 Bitcoin. And I think it's worth to give it a try to win this price. So that's why make sure that you're sharing this competition to everyone that you know that is trading in the crypto space, because like this, we can really win a lot of Bitcoin over here if we are successful. And now my friends, let's start straight into the content because also in yesterday's stream over on Twitch, if you didn't follow the live stream, then make sure that you're joining me also over on Twitch. My Twitch channel, you find also down below here in the video description. We were pointing out that we could see here a breakout to the upside from this resistance of $51,000. And this is exactly also what happened. I had yesterday in the stream also a long opened based on this buy signal that we had here in the three hour time frame. I had a long opened, but I told you that I most likely gonna close my long position. And this is also what I did up here because the funding rates are really high at the moment again here on Bybit. I think all the other exchanges now are catching up with the funding rates. So currently we have very, very high funding fees. So if you are keeping up a trade for a very long time, because these funding rates are charged every eight hours, this uh, can end up to be a very expensive trade. And that's why as soon as here we are getting some uh, sell signals, or at least here for the short term, some signals that we could see a pullback, I just going to close again my long and then look again for another new entry because this is exactly what we are seeing right now in the three hour time frame we are getting now a sell signal it's not confirmed yet so we still need a bit of time and even though we could correct down here i don't think that we will go again below 51 to 52 thousand dollar so what we are seeing right now is of course very bullish this price action we are now coming above the 0.618 fibonacci retracement level i also told you in yesterday's stream my friends that we are out of the woods once we're starting to close four hour and daily candles above this important fibonacci retracement level because usually bitcoin when it's tanking it always bounces back up towards the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement. And then if this move fails, we're gonna crash all the way back down here. But as you can see right now, we are breaking this resistance and we have already some four hour closes now above this important price level here of $52,600. So what I'm expecting here is that most likely here in the next coming hours, we could see a potential pullback again towards this 52 to $51,000, reconfirm it as a new support and then have continuation here to the upside and of course what we also want to see are several daily closes now above the 20 daily moving average which currently is also here at fifty thousand five hundred dollars so it looks like that this correction now is over and we are heading towards new levels and i will show you exactly what are my targets here to be reached if we're gonna see here continuation to the upside but first here in the four hour time frame i just want to show you that now we have again the 20 and 9 moving average here as a support so if we see a pullback here because we are a bit overbought now in the lower time frames and you're looking for good long entries especially if we are trading with my own indicator here on discord then as soon as we are getting another buy signal in the three hour time frame I think it most likely will happen here between the 9 and 20 moving average in the four hour time frame. So between $50,600 and $52,000. I think this is a good long entry if we then, of course, see continuation to the upside. So short term, we could still see here a little pullback since we are overbought and we're getting now this sell signal in the three hour time frame. Of course, it's not confirmed yet, but it will be confirmed in about half an hour. And that's why I think then we were gonna see this retest of this 52 to $51,000 and then gear up for another big move to the upside because with this breakout that we have seen since yesterday, we not only took out this resistance at $51,000, but also we are now out of the woods that this could end up in a big rising wedge. So we also broke this resistance up here at $53,000. So where the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level was lining up. And that's why I'm very, very bullish now and I'm expecting continuation to the upside. And in my opinion, this correction that we have seen in the last couple of days is already over. And and we should expect here big continuations to the upside. And now let's go to the possible targets, my friend. And therefore we have to go over into the daily time frame. 
because here first what you can see is that once this nine moving average in the daily time frame turned into green you can see that we then had this important moving average as a support and every time we dipped down you can see that we exactly bounced at this nine daily moving average and currently it's perfectly lining up with the 20 daily moving average right here at $50,500. So if we're gonna see here in the short term another little pullback down towards $50,500, I think this would be the perfect entry to buy more Bitcoin and also start to long again, because I don't think that we are going to go again below these important moving averages here. And now we are shifted again to the upside because right now we had already the confirmation that we are having this 20 daily moving average as a support with the close that we had yesterday and of course today now we are seeing a continuation to the upside as expected and if like here also in the past we are starting to close several candles now here in the daily time frame above the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement which now is here at $52,600 then I'm expecting here big continuations to the upside and uh, we can now do a measurement based on the last breakout that we had because if we would have exactly the same performance once we're gonna take out the old all-time high here of $58,000. So here once we broke here this $42,000 all-time high that we had over here after this correction you can see that from this $42,000 we came up here to $58,000. Then we started this bigger correction here down towards $43,000. So if we would have now the same performance, so the same breakout to the upside, same like we did here from $42,000 to $58,000. And let's say we're gonna create new all-time highs, for example, here on the 12th of March, so towards the end of this week. So if we are able to break this all-time high that we had here at $58,000 and have exactly the same performance like we also did with this last correction this could easily bring us up here towards our bullish target of $75,000 and this price level would also perfectly coincide with this red trend line if we connect here the last two tops that we had so you can see that this $75,000 price level would make very much sense if now we're gonna take out also $58,000 and you definitely want to take this long position especially if you're trading now on this competition that is going on in the next coming days and weeks because like that you're not only gonna be very profitable in trading with your own money but also you have of course the chance to win this price pool over here so if we're gonna see here this breakout to the upside and also take out $58,000, the target would be up here at 75,000. Before then maybe we could come back down again to retest the 60K area as a new support and then maybe have another explosive move here towards 90 to 100,000 dollar and still remain in this channel that I also pointed out yesterday in the live stream over on Twitch because I think until we're gonna see at least a local top before any kind of bigger correction so bigger than what we have seen so far we will most likely remain in this channel which is currently here between $45,000 to $66,000 and if we're gonna see this move towards $75,000 towards the end of March I think latest then we're gonna have another pullback back down to retest 60k and then maybe have another big move to the upside and everything is gonna be depending how also our cycle top indicators are reacting because remember that we have two very important indicators that could signal us where we could potentially top out for now then maybe have a big washout a big sell-off and then gear up for the next big parabolic move to the upside and if we are now able to reach the 75 to 100k let's say latest until the end of april then i just think that we are a bit too early and too fast reaching this 100k and there is still a high chance that maybe then we could see a potential bigger sell-off and then if we drop below this support trend line here that then we could see a massive dump towards 
30, potentially even towards $20,000, then accumulate again more Bitcoin and then have the final big parabolic move, which will take us way above 100K, like a similar bull market like we had also in 2013, where we had during one bull market, two big cycle tops. So I compare this bull run that we're seeing now since the last halving to the bull market that we had also in 2013. And that's why I think if we are going too fast now towards 100K, we still could get a big washout, a big sell off before we are reaching the bullish cycle top targets way above 100K. At least this is my theory, my friends. And we can also have another look like we did also yesterday in the Twitch live stream here at the P cycle Bitcoin top indicator because this signals usually always a cycle top. Even in 2013, it signaled both tops during a bull market. And you can see that this moving average right now is coming aggressively down. And always when this moving average up here crossed the actual price of Bitcoin, this signaled always a local top before a major dump. And I can estimate that if we are reaching these levels here between 75 to 100 K, that this moving average could come very close to the price action. And then of course, this could potentially signal a low Local top, then we could see a big washout, and then of course another reaccumulation, and then another big parabolic move, which will take us way above 100k. At least this is my theory, and this is what I'm expecting that could happen here if we are reaching too fast these 75 to 100k price targets that we have now if we are able with this move now to take out this $58,000 all time high that we have so far. And then, of course, we also have this other indicator, these logarithmic growth curves and zones, which also are telling you always when it's good to accumulate more Bitcoin and when it's good to take profits and sell some Bitcoin. So this red zone up here between 76,000 to 100K is right above of us. And I think if we are reaching these levels up here and we are entering in this red zone, this also could signal that we could see a local top here in the next coming days before maybe another big washout, maybe a huge crash towards the 200 daily moving average here at $24,000 or maybe at the 20 weekly moving average, which currently is lining up at around $30,000 right here in this yellow accumulation zone of Bitcoin. So those would be my bearish targets if we would see such a big washout, such a big rejection up here if we are reaching 70 to 100k and although if we go back in time here you can see that this red zone always signaled a top during a bull run so also here in 2017 you can see that once we were entering in this red zone this was a good time to take profits and the same goes also here in 2013 you can see that here although we reached this red zone and then we started a huge correction back down back into the green zone and here you can see that we didn't come up here to the red zone in the middle here we got rejected and then we came straight back down here towards the 200 daily moving average so this indicator here didn't play out for this top it only played out for the top of 2017 and here for this cycle top up here at 170 dollars but if now we are taking the other indicator here, the P cycle top indicator, you can see that this one exactly signaled the top here with this run up that we had up to $240. If you took out profits here and accumulated again down here at the 200 daily moving average where we bounced then again, you could have sold then of course with the next cycle top here. So this indicator here always showed you where it's good to take profits. And as I told you, if now with the price action that we are seeing right now we're gonna get another signal that we are reaching a cycle top i think this wouldn't be a bad idea at least to take a bit of profits out to be ready that if we're gonna see any kind of bigger crash that you are able to buy the dip but of course as you can see we are still far away from a cycle top this is only what we're gonna have to check out once we are reaching these targets up here between 75 to 100K. Because if we are getting some sell signals here in these important indicators, I think then it's not a bad idea to take at least a bit of profits out to then of course accumulate more Bitcoin if we're gonna see any kind of bigger drop. 
So the conclusion for Bitcoin, my friends, is that short term, we still could come back down here towards 51 to $52,000. But overall, we should expect here big continuations to the upside. And the target is at least to reach the 75,000 before maybe we then going to have another pullback to then maybe retest the 60 K area. And if we go now over into the Ethereum price here, also you can see the same thing. We are breaking here this resistance that we had at 1650. We had now already a couple of four hour closes above the resistance line and also the 200 moving average. So also Ethereum is starting to look very bullish, but also here I'm expecting here in the next coming hours, a potential drop towards the 20 moving average and also the 200 moving average right here at $1,700. So even though with this breakout is already confirmed, but I still expect here at least for the short term, another little pullback before then we gear up to finally create new all time highs. So you are still not too late if you also want to trade and buy more Ethereum because the lower time frames are suggesting that we could see another little pullback before we then completely take off. But the breakout also here is already confirmed. And also in the daily time frame, you can see that yesterday we came down to retest the 20 daily moving average we bounced so far and also today we should see continuation to the upside so if we are lucky that we're coming down here to test 1660 again then take it as a good buy and long opportunity but i think that already here at around 1700 dollars we should have enough support and i don't think that we will go lower than that again it looks like that right now we could come down to reconfirm this 1770 support which also here acted as a support before then we created this all-time high of 2045 dollars so in my opinion if the ethereum price is coming down to 1770 this should be then a bounce area and also here we should see continuation to the upside and also take out this all-time high same like we also would do on bitcoin so as soon as bitcoin is breaking fifty-eight thousand dollar, also ethereum in my opinion will follow quite quickly so that's why if you're too late to trade bitcoin and ethereum is still not taking out this all-time high you can still trade ethereum of course because one or the other is always a bit lagging behind and of course the bullish thing is also that the dxy right now is exactly getting rejected where we were expecting it here very close to 93 dollars we didn't reach yet the 200 daily moving average here at 93 dollars but we are coming very very close and if here we're getting a sell signal in the daily time frame for the dxy i'm expecting here of course a big rejection and a big drop towards uh, here the 20 daily moving average at 90 dollars potentially even fall all the way towards this support trend line that we have now currently at around 89 dollars and since we are here in a bearish pattern in the dxy there is also a high chance that we could even drop below this support here so below 89 dollars and this of course would be a big catastrophe for the dxy so for the us dollar index but of course a big favor for the crypto market and also for the stock market because then i think we would go completely parabolic to the upside so the dxy is taking this uh, dump and rejection as we were expecting it up here and if we zoom in in the lower time frames like the four hour here you can see that we got a perfect sell signal up here and uh, right now the momentum is clearly shifted to the downside and the 200 moving average is here at around 90 dollars so in my opinion the dxy gonna see some more continuations to the downside and of course that is very very bullish for the bitcoin price and overall also for the crypto market and stock market and since we are talking about stock market let's have a look also into the nasdaq mini futures because here in the four hour you can see that we could create a bottom here so we got several buy signals already and if we go over into the daily time frame here you can also see that today it looks like that the stock market is going to open up in green so we should expect here a bounce to the upside and as soon as we can close again daily candles above the 100 daily moving average or even better above the 9 daily moving average right here at 12,760 then i'm expecting here also bottom and continuations to the 
upside. So in my opinion, also Nasdaq and overall the stock market will recover very, very fast because this area here acted previously as a very strong resistance and now it should be acting as a strong support. So if we are able to have here a big successful bounce to the upside and start to close candles again above the 9 and 20 daily moving average, then we should be also here in Nasdaq and in the stock market back in an uptrend. And then of course, we should be looking at new all time highs here pretty soon we also are getting now a buy signal in the daily time frame so i think also here the correction could be over especially if the dxy continues to plunge so everything is turning again more bullish my friends and we should expect continuations to the upside especially here for bitcoin you know now the targets so if we are seeing here in the lower time frames another retest of these important supports now here between 52 to 51 thousand dollar take it as a very good long opportunity or buy more bitcoin because the next targets are above the old all-time high of 58 thousand dollar and if you want to trade this over on bybit or femex then use my referral link that you find down below here in the video description to open up an account so like that you support the channel you will have more luck with that and of course you can also get this extra bonus and if you're completely new in the crypto space make sure to buy some cryptos over on Swissborg, Binance or Coinbase those are also the exchanges that I am using and that I also recommend and if you're using my invitation links down below here you will get some extra free money so I'm gonna wrap it up for now my friends if you like the content make sure to hit and smash that like button also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and another big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join it make sure to use my invitation link down below here to the discord trading chat then go here to read first click the thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the crypto trading chat and if you want to get access to the live stream indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then make sure to contact me here with a private message because a little donation is needed to get access to it. So thank you very much for watching, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.